Even though the stock market is falling, cryptocurrency prices is going down, in my opinion, 2022 will be the year of the NFTs. Don't just take my word for it. Let's look at this article. Nearly $41 billion worth of crypto was spent on the NFT marketplace in 2021. The most valuable NFT is worth more than $91 million. NFT trading volume rose by 704% between Q2 and Q3 in 2021. And if we keep going, an estimate of 250,000 people trade NFTs each month on OpenSea and 23% of millennials collect NFTs in the U.S. With that being said, in 2022, NFTs will be very important. And if you want to get in on the money, come in closer. You probably want to watch this video. So in this video, we're going to talk about a few different things. First, we're going to talk about what is an NFT, how to buy and sell an NFT, and the most important one is which ones to buy and how to not get scammed. So let's get into the video. Black rose, black rose, black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh, black rose, black rose, black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh, black rose, black rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh, black Welcome back, beautiful people. I am Lando Success, your favorite motivational teacher. The goal is whenever you come to my page to leave knowing something that you didn't know before you came here. But before I give you some of that non fungible game, I need you to press that fungible like button. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment that helped the YouTube algorithm and that helped push the video out to more people. Now, if you are brand new to NFTs, cryptocurrency, or just investing, just click the link in the description. I have a bunch of ways where you can get free stocks, you can get free crypto, just check it out. What is a NFT? You hear the term all the time, you see people making all type of crazy money just by buying something digital that's not tangible. NFT stand for non-fungible token. The best way to describe it is think of fungible currency. You have cash, you have gold, you have stocks. Non-fungible in this example is a digital asset. The best example that worked for me is the Mona Lisa. Why is the Mona Lisa so rare and why is it so valuable? My opinion, it's only two things, the history of it and originality. Only difference is the Mona Lisa, you can physically have it. And you have a lot of people that can replicate it and try to make different ones, but you can have one selling for $1 million versus one selling for $10 and it looked the exact same. And the same go for NFTs. Once they mint that Mona Lisa, meaning they create it, it go on the blockchain. It is a digital asset. And whenever you purchase it, they basically have a digital receipt. So everybody can see once it was minted, you was one of the first people that get it at this time on this date. And we all know people want one of the first or a rare collectible item. The first one was created in 2014. You fast forward eight years later, you have digital Disney characters, Marvel characters. They are even taking NBA plays and turning them into NFTs. Speaking of NBA, I'm going to show you how I bought my first NFTs. There are many ways to buy one. I'm going to show you a few different ways. First, I'm going to show you with NBA Top Shot. Now, with NBA Top Shot, the first thing you have to do is create an account. It's very self-explanatory, and you have to create a dapper wallet. For those that don't understand what is a wallet, just think of a regular physical wallet, but now it is a digital wallet that hold all of your NFTs or cryptocurrency. What I love about NBA Top Shot, it is perfect for a newbie because you don't necessarily have to have cryptocurrency to purchase it. You can use your credit or debit card. I actually purchased one yesterday. Let me show you. So yesterday I purchased this pack for $9. Soon as it came available, they emailed me, do you want a pack for $9? So I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to do this for the video. So right now we're about to open and it have Kevin Durant on there. Let's see. Oh, we got four things just for $9. Click to reveal. That is Aaron Holiday, and it's just a crossover on December 26, 2021. So think of the packs we used to get back in the day when you used to buy cards and it had different ones in there. I believe it said it's guaranteed one Kevin Durant in here. Terry Rozier, a layup. Now, you see these are all basic. It's nothing too special about it. But, you know, only cost $9. Let's see this one. A jump shot. Hey, we got a Kevin Durant one. And the last one we received is a Desmond Bang dunk. So for $9, you can tell I didn't get anything too special, but I'm going to break down how this works. So let's say I want to purchase something. I go to the marketplace, and you see they already have some 
right here hot moments but we can just go to a player we like we can type in lebron james and when you type in lebron james it show the ones he have the lowest asking price is 185 dollars this is 48 dollars some is 1200 if you keep going down you can see some up to twenty four thousand dollars forty five thousand dollars everything changes i know you're wondering how can some be forty dollars versus forty five thousand dollars when you click it you see it say le that means limited edition now they only made 59 of these so you see it's only 59 available 48 people probably own them and you can tell just by having the closest number to number one the price go up let's look at this one right here this one is under two hundred dollars and you see they made ten thousand of them but you see the lowest sale is 169 and the highest is forty thousand all you can do is look at the history and see which ones are selling for crazy prices so right here it showed the buyer the sale price the serial number so the number one sold for 19,000 and the number 23 because this is his jersey number sold for the highest if that make any sense if you wanted to buy one it is literally so simple you select and buy which one you want and you just put in your debit card actually I hope mine is oh no <laughs> I hope mine don't go through <laughs> all right we don't want to do that but uh um, my debit card is probably attached so yeah i hope that didn't go through <laughs> y'all better like this video if it did so here go the moments i have i have miles turner zach levine bradley bill and i have a lebron james and you see the prices for them now i probably get all of these together under 150 dollars a year ago i'm now just placing them for sale because i looked at the average price of what they are going for probably got this for fifty dollars but with my serial number but with my serial number i looked at the similar ones i can get it closer that price and once i sell it all i'm going to do is just buy more nfts so the second way and most common way to buy nfts everybody have to do this do this right now go to metamask you have to get you a metamask wallet you're going to hear people talking about it all the time with a lot of these exchanges you're going to need a metamask wallet since i'm on a macbook i will have to go to my google chrome to basically download it right and you see it say download you will go through the process install metamask to your computer add the extension and it say metamask has been added and once it's added it literally take you over here get started now since you don't have a wallet remember this is just another wallet to hold your cryptocurrency i'm not going to create another one but if you already have one you just basically important it by putting in all of your security information that they ask you it's going to be like 12 random words that you have to keep and if you lose them it is a wrap so i actually remember all of my stuff because i kept it very very safely and i was able to add it on here so right here i have two dollars in here worth of eth you can see activity you can buy you can send but don't worry about that right now number one place people go to buy nfts is a place called open c so you see open c you can explore or you can create this is for people that want to create nfts and list them on here you can do that but we are just clicking explore you see trending so this is a whole different world that you really are not used to seeing you see the stuff that's trending you can see top board eight yacht club you've been hearing a lot about that what the celebrities been getting you got art you got collectibles like genesis you have music sports trading cards you have everything so we just going to click trending so i'm going down this one looked like a sweet one to try punk's comic now you see they made over 23,000 of them you have 8,000 owners the floor price then you have the volume traded so if we look at the items alone let's just click the first one and this is 419 dollars now remind you whenever you buy nfts probably 80 percent of the time they're going to always require you to have ethereum and that's why they are so relevant because the utilization of it is crazy now here go the offers a month ago somebody offered 419 
$222. And if you go all the way down to right here, it was at five cents. I'm assuming that's the person that minted it and created it. And you can check and see who is the owner by checking their page and you can see which NFTs do they own. They love anime and random teddy bears. So I'm assuming they are probably a creator too. So they probably create them and sell them. This only $58. I know this is confusing to a lot of people. So just think of this as the number one portal where you can buy and sell NFTs. The second way is by going straight to some of these sites. Some will let you do it. Right now we are on Larva Labs where you can see CryptoPunks. Since I know a lot of you guys heard about it, let's take a look at it. First thing they show you what is the current lowest one that you can buy and that is at $183,000. They tell you what's the highest one sold for and that is $7.58 million. And I know this is crazy. In the last 33 seconds, here go the recent transactions. So somebody just offered 140 ETH for this one. That is 367,000. This is a whole different world. It say the punk is currently owned by this address. So remember, I told you you have that digital receipt. That's the digital receipt, so you can see exactly who owned it. The offer happened today. Look at this. Somebody did a bid and they withdrew it. And you see somebody offered for three hundred and eighty nine thousand the other day. Now, this was sold on November 16th for five hundred and sixty four thousand. That's almost almost a half a million dollars. But the price value actually went down. That's when people was buying these like crazy. But let's just look at the history. If you go all the way down, you can go from right here to eighty nine thousand dollars. Imagine buying this for eighty nine thousand and people is offering you three hundred thousand. For it. Yeah, it's crazy. Last I'll show you is the Bore 8 Yacht Club. That is one a lot of people talk about. You see, the celebrities have been buying these Bored Apes. So you notice on Twitter, people have these type of apes, and they went to the website and you can literally buy it on OpenSea. It said the initial sale has sold out. Well, you was able to probably get it on here, but now you have to go through the mediator to OpenSea and do it. Now, whenever you buy these, you got to have Ethereum in your MetaMask and you'll have to pay gas fees. But that is a whole different video. So let's say we wanted to bid for one. So I just switched to Chrome so it can connect to my MetaMask now. So this is what it did. It basically just connect to my MetaMask and it's going to say next. Right. So that's my stuff. See the address account and the balance. Yep. You're going to do all of that type of stuff. But I can't bid for it because I need to add some funds. They're like, hey, you need some more money. Now, there's multiple ways where you can do it. You can deposit money from like your Coinbase anywhere to this exchange or you can buy with your debit or credit card. So they want Ethereum for me to be able to buy this. So if I wanted to buy $300 worth of Ethereum, they are telling me the current price right here and it's changing a lot. So you would get this much ETH and this is the gas fees I was talking about. Everybody hate gas fees. That's why you have so many different alt companies that are always trying to lower the fees with Ethereum. But right now it will be $21 if I did it. I will continue and basically you would just follow the prompts and you'll be able to add some more money just make sure you have enough for your gas fees okay i know that was a lot but right now i want to talk about ways not to get scammed and the best ways to buy the first thing in my personal opinion i would not buy any nfts with any new companies that was just created so if you haven't been in business selling buying and trading with your nft platform over one year I wouldn't even give them a chance because the risk is not worth the reward. There are probably over 1,000 different NFTs companies releasing every single day. I get emails from half of them every day trying to pay me to promote the NFT that's probably going to crash in the next few months. The second thing is I would do some real research on NFTs. So literally dive into this and do some real research because you can go to a website and you can see something that looked great you're looking at the trading history but for example let's say i meant the lando success nft right for two dollars then i sell it to my wife 
for two hundred dollars. She sell it to my cousin for five hundred and she sell it back to me. We can basically pump the price up and nobody that's real in the marketplace has seen any value or even bought this. Then you come to my website and you see that the trading activity been going up. So you like, man, if it's only $10,000 right now, if I hold it, it might be $20,000, $50,000, $1 million. In reality, it is something nobody end up buying besides myself and my immediate circle. Now, this part is unfortunate, but it is the truth. You have to follow the trends of what the celebrities are doing. Whatever the celebrities are buying, that is usually the ones that's going to go viral and be really worth something because NFTs at this point in 2022, it is a status symbol. If you have a certain NFT as your profile picture, that means you are in the cool kid club. You are in the bore eight yacht club. Just the major downfall is the ones major celebrities are promoting is out of our price range. So oh, it's up to no. you to do your research to see which ones your favorite celebrities are promoting and you can get in. My third and final advice is buy something that you are familiar familiar with something you like you see i purchased nba top shot because i love the nba i understand basketball players i understand who value is up so that is easy for me if you are in the marvel comments comments comments, comments. if you're in the marvel and like comic books that's probably an nft niche that will work out great for you if you're in the baseball cards or trading cards look into those because you already have experience from them and yes it's not going to probably make you the million dollars but it might make you a few hundred a few thousand it's still an industry and opportunity for it. now my goals change every day but as of right now i just literally buy an nft hold it for a year come back and see if the value went higher decide if i'm going to sell it or keep it for another year it's going to probably change where i start trading and buying a lot more but it's simple to me. I see where the world is going. And this year, I'm going to start buying a lot of NFTs because I see that is where everything is going. If you like this video and it was able to help you out because there's so much more we can talk about, let me know if you will see another video where we can talk about the metaverse and we can talk about different NFTs like buying digital land. But do me a favor. Make sure you press that like button, press the subscribe button and leave a comment. Tell me if this video helped you out at all. I appreciate you guys. I'm Lando Success, and I'm out. Oh, yeah, and once again, click that link in the description. Get you some free stock and get you some free crypto. Black boy, you can fly. Black rose, black rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh, black rose.